okay guys okay in this section we'll see uh, how to create a database in uh, mysql server from php script okay in order to create a database in mysql from php we need to follow two steps step one to connect to actual mysql server itself and step two to create a database we'll see the general format for connecting to mysql first that is mysql underscore connect and we need to give three parameters first one our mysql server name this is parameter one then after quotes and comma then again within quotes we have to give the username and the third parameter after comma again within quotes will be uh, password this will be our mysql password semicolon at the end okay this is the general format for creating a uh, for establishing a connection to our mysql server from php uh, i'll comment out this one because we are going to apply this one in real time mysql mysql underscore co connect okay and within quotes now we had to give three parameters uh, that is first one is mysql server name since we are going to test this thing locally uh, this will be local host and the next parameter is username right my uh, mysql username is root and password is one two three four five six that's it semicolon uh, I'll assign this entire thing to a variable, entire connection string to a variable called con because uh, there are possibility that MySQL connection uh, fails to be established uh, from PHP because uh, what if the username or the password is wrong here? Uh, there are possibilities. So we need to do some exception handling. So if uh, con, not con, if the connection is not established, we'll have a exception here uh, I'll show you how that is die within that we'll have a display if the connection fails that is connection failed and after quotes we'll have a concatenation and we got an inbuilt function uh, in PHP to handle all those database error that is called mysql underscore error uh, these things will come handy most of the time while we handle exception uh, with which is related to database uh, so uh, we get if the connection fails we get a display connection failed and with that continuation we will be having uh, will be re returned by error number because we used mysql underscore sorry this is not dot mysql underscore error this is an inbuilt function uh, in php so error number also will be written and if this connection is succeeded I mean connection to PHP from MySQL database is succeeded we can have a simple display that is connection successful okay and now that we established connection with MySQL uh, this is uh, the code to connect uh, to MySQL from PHP now we have to create an actual database right so for that we need to use the mysql query that is mysql underscore query within that we have to give the actual uh, sql query that is creating database query that is create database uh, then we have to give the database name i'm going to give test underscore data this is going to be our database name then after comma we have to give the connection object that is dollar con right you can see here in the top we assigned the entire connection string to the variable con so uh, we have to give that here okay mysql then within the round braces within uh, quotes we will have the sql query that is create database database name this is going to be our database name test underscore data and after comma we will have a connection object Okay, I'm going to assign this whole thing uh, to a variable called qry qry equal to okay that's fine because we are going to 
again do some exception handling if this query is not successful that is if not dollar qry if this query is not successful we will have an exception that is die error handling i mean die uh, query to database failed and concatenation string we will have mysql error returning error number will be returned using this function as i said before semicolon and if this connection is I mean if the query is successful and database gets created we will have a simple display that is echo connection uh, sorry database created successfully semicolon at the end ok I'll save this file in the local server directory now uh, by the name create underscore data dot php uh, we will run in our web server where is that http colon forward slash localhost then ok we will check here where is that create data dot php you can see here connection successful database created successfully but we have to make sure uh, whether this thing got actually created and we can see that here I will show you where here in the quick link of our WAMP server PHP my admin here uh, can see here uh, data underscore test a new database is created but inside that you can't find any table nothing because we just created the database if you guys like my videos please subscribe to them guys I'll see you soon.